Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. It has been a little while. I think it's been about a week maybe, something like that, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, I've just really, I haven't had enough, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't had enough time to record. I just have not. It's been really, really busy uh, for me between sickness and games releasing and school and whatnot. But we got a bit of a new setup here. We got my boy Gaia. I just went ahead and let him evolve off screen because I wanted him to, ah, words. I wanted to get him up to this level and uh, I wanted to make sure that he evolved early on so that he would be able to learn all the moves available. So he's got, you're gonna love this. I absolutely love this. Belly Drum, Drain Punch, Woodhammer, EQ. He did have Synthesis instead of Drain Punch, but then I decided, you know what? Nyx Synthesis for the Drain Punch recovery. Leftovers plus uh, Drain Punch will be enough after the Belly Drum for healing. Plus I can use items. We also have this Graveler who's probably not currently on the layout because I'm about to evolve him, but uh, he doesn't learn any more moves after this. We gotta use TMs or heart scales on him from here. I haven't looked at any heart scale stuff for him yet, but he's pretty good. Uh, I put... Who did I put in the PC? I put Deva and someone else. I cannot remember. It'll come back to me. You guys can probably look and tell right off the bat. Dawn Fan. I put Dawn Fan the Unstoppable because I wanted to use Mega... I also just realized I'm in the Pokemon Town. I wanted to use Mega Gardevoir for this session, and the next session we're probably going to go and get the Mega Haxorite and use Mega Haxorus next session. Because it is possible to get to a location with the Amolga Taxi that will allow us to do so. But for now, let's go to here. I think, no, 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 here. Yeah, Helio City. And we need to go down to the black market, which I am going to hyperspeed to get there just to save us some time, because this is basically backtracking as far as I'm concerned. We need to get down into the black market and talk to the trade evolution person to evolve our Delta Graveler. And then the layout will update with that information, and then we'll continue playing the game. Hopefully now, I'm kind of at the point in my classes where I just finished a bunch of exams and projects and stuff. And so now, most of what my classes are giving me. Some of them are still like, hey, we got a test coming up, but most of them are like, hey, we're at the point where it's like, uh, we're kind of getting you ready for finals and all that and working on final papers and whatnot. So I should have a bit more free time available to me because I procrastinate everything to record some more Pokemon Insurgents, hopefully. So hopefully we're back to doing this pretty regularly. Special Powder, Contact with Another World. I'm pretty sure this is what we use to uh, trade evolve. Yep, here we go. Graveler is evolving. Hooray! What do you look like as a golem? I think I might use an ability capsule on golem, by the way, because its other ability is Sap Sipper, and that'd be really useful to be immune to grass-type moves. So I'm feeling like we might do that. Dude! This golem looks sick. Graveler evolved into golem! Hooray! Ah, it reacted to my powder perfectly. Congratulations, this thing is massive. Come back and view my services again. Look at how big this thing is. Oh, I didn't rename you, did I? Oh, I did, but then I had to reset the game and I didn't name you back. Right. This thing is supposed to be named Talus, and Snorlax already has a built-in name of Gaia, which, to be honest, I kind of like Gaia, so we're just going to leave it at Gaia. But, uh, dude, I am loving this giant uh, Delta Golem. This thing is sick. And Rock Psychic is an alright typing. As far as I'm concerned. I think I am going to give it Sap Sipper, though. I think we have, like, plenty of ability capsules. I can afford to burn a few. Because I almost never use them. Where are they? Ability capsules got to be around here somewhere. I know I have at least one. Where is it? I thought I had one. Maybe I don't. Do I really not have any ability? Oh, there it is. I only have one. I thought I had more than that. We can get another one if we really need to, but, uh, use it on you. Sap Sipper. Sick. That's the ability I want. I accidentally changed it. What? You can use ability capsules infinitely? I thought they were one use only. Okay, that's weird. I'll take it, though. But, alright, Sap Sipper seems better than Regenerator. Both of them are great abilities by far. But now, let's go to the Pika Taxi, which I think is over here. Pika Taxi up this way? I don't remember where it is in Helios. Gotta be further down. This thing is so awesome with how big it is. I love it. There you are. What's up, dude? 
I want you to just drive me. No, I accidentally pressed it. No, no, no. It's blue. Get me out of here, please. Oh, please. D stop this nightmare. Uh, it's me, the director? Yeah, this is not a good time. I'm a little busy. I, I can't get the thing where I want it. Is that Pokemon Center? Please? Yes, yes, please. Oh, my goodness. Why is the Amolga Taxi the default instead of the Pika Taxi? I want the Pika Taxi. Pika Taxi, thank you. Holy cow, that's awful. Take me all the way back up here. We've already wasted, like, five minutes, and I still have to rename this thing to Talus. Do, 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 do. Golem, rename him to Talus. There we go. All right, sick. There we go. We're good, we're good. Uh, I also need to mess around with items. Talus does not even have an item. I don't know what I want to give him. Uh... Talus can have the Magtrike, so he can make evolve into Mega Manetric, obviously. We will give him... Honestly, I kind of want to give him a Choice Band, like Shakur. Both of them are going to hit insanely hard. Uh, Mayor, I think, is holding Leftovers, but I want the Delta Gardevoirite for sure. So that's the Mega we're going to be using for this session, and probably the next one or two, maybe. And then eventually we'll switch it around to a uh, Mega... Mega what's-his-name. Mega Haxorus, but this should be good for now. All right, leftovers, Mega Stone, Expert Belt, Band, Band, Life Orb. Sounds good. Let's go, boys. I think we're pretty good on type setup with this team because we have like the four core types of water, fire, electric, and grass. And then we also have added on steel, fairy, ice, and then rock psychic is pretty out there and so is ghost normal, but they help out. So we should be good in terms of typage and coverage and whatnot. There's probably one or two types I've forgotten that can just run through this setup, but it doesn't matter. Because I'm smarter than the average koala and we can outdo them. But now we can finally get back to playing the game. I am going to hyperspeed just a tad bit more to get back to where we were last time, which was over at this uh, tower. Where we got the Delta Cyndaquil that I'm still not sure if I'm ever going to use or not, although I'm doubting it. But hey, here we are. Let us continue on with exploring the area. What does this say? Trainer tip, the pavement on Route 15 made of the finest concrete biking over. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. What are you? Listen here, bucko, I'm the sketchy salesman. Want to buy a couple TMs? They're legit, I promise you. I don't believe you. I also don't think I want any of these. Maybe power-up punch. Striking opponents over and over makes the user's fists harder hitting... This, the color of the TM does not seem to match Power Up Punch. Because it's not the color of a fighting type. You know what? Give me Power Up Punch. I got money to burn. Let me look at this. Is it actually like just a different TM than what I bought? No, it is Power Up Punch. Huh. Okay. That's a little weird. What's in here? Route 15 under. Great naming system here that we got. Okay. There's an escape rope over there. Dang it, wild Pokemon. Can you not tell I'm busy? Oh no, a Cradilly. My boy Talus. He looks much smaller in this position. You're weak to fighting, right? Grass Rock? Yeah, it should be weak to fighting. Yeah. It's an. Oh, I just O code a Cradilly with my choice band. Granted, it was like 10 levels beneath me, but still. What's Golem's base attack? Like 120 or something? It's pretty high. I know its defense is like 140 or something stupid. I should use a repel. I have repels for a reason. Why buy the repels if I'm not going to use them? Very good. Now let's continue on. Does this lead me to another Meloetta stone, perhaps? Leads me to this stupid little kid. I think someone told me that this has to do with Hoopa. You get Hoopa DNA at some point in the game, so we can't mess with that. I love big caves. They're huge and easy to explore. I'm not going to make the obvious joke. You can't make me do it. It won't be done. Youngster Jonathan with his Lanoon. What chance will it stand against Talus? Literally none. Oh no, it's flinging at me. It didn't even have an item. Hammer arm. See you later, sucker. Easiest Oko crit of Talus' career. No problemo. Easy experience. That was subtle, not really. 
Yeah, I had this giant golem slam its fist down on you. It's about as unsubtle as possible. We do have a doorway here. Is there something to surf to up there? I can't really see. No, no, there's not. All right, well, where does this lead then? Route 15, not under. Okay. Are you an experienced trainer? I'd love to have a hand at getting better. Let's go. I'm gonna take you down. You stand exactly negative four chance, Lady Kara. Oh no, a Raichu! However, will I defeat it? I really need to get rid of a uh, Zen Headbuck or something. Actually, I might give Talus Power Up Punch in place of Double Edge, because I'd never use Double Edge over Dual Stab or Hammer Arm. But I'm also using a Choice Band, so that doesn't really work out. I can stand and Zen Headbutt this. I don't know, it might be worth it if I decide to give it an item other than it lived, how dare it. I don't know why, but I was actually for like half a second there, surprised that Dunsparce, the Pokemon with a drill on its butt, learns Drill Run. I was about to question it, like how come this thing can learn Drill Run? Obviously, because it has a drill on its rear end, Chaos. It's probably the most likely to learn Drill Run. It's got a better reason than Beedrill, even though Beedrill has Drill in the name. I'm back up, okay, so that just linked back to over here, I see. That's fine then. Repels effect, wore off. I don't think I need one right now. I think... What's another item? I do have another lefties I can give you. Let's try leftovers on Talus for a little bit, and I'm gonna teach him Power Up Punch. Plus, we already have Choice Band on Shakur. Probably not a good idea to have Choice Band on two Pokemon. That's not the worst idea, but you never know. We can also give it to Sun. That would be really good. Gaia, I don't think, wants it. Let's give it to Talus. What moves does Sun have again? I can't remember. It might be worth giving him Power Up Punch. Uh, get rid of Double Edge. Sun is pretty good at dealing high damage, mostly to come in and murder something that's been weakened or he can hit super effectively. But maybe with Power Up Punch, he'd be able to go above and beyond. Ah, uh, but I really don't want to lose Fake Out. I could get rid of Drain Punch. I have the TM for Drain Punch, right? So we can get rid of Drain Punch for now, and we can get it back later if we want to. So that's what we're going to do for now. Let's try having Sun no Power Up Punch. Getting him to, like, plus two should let him Oko a bunch of stuff. But we'll see how it goes. This is Amphitrite. We made it to Amphitrite. Sick. Welcome to Amphitrite City, the city by a lake. While you're here, be sure to check out our gym. It's sure to be a tough challenge. Let me not open the bag. Let me put my girl, Mare, up front. Mare and Gaia are going to be the MVPs of this gym, because I think it's a water gym. Have we fought an electric gym yet? Is this a water electric gym? Would you be interested in taking my competitive quiz? There's a prize if you get it all right. I love quizzes. Just four questions. Ready? Let's go. Okay, that was the first question. You know whether you're interested. Are you kidding me? You're doing so, so great so far. Second question. Which of these Pokemon is the slowest? Trap Inch is the slowest Pokemon in the game. Good stuff. Question three, here it comes. Which of these natures would hinder Jolteon? I don't know what quirky nature is, and I always get timid and jolly confused. One of these natures subtracts the special attack stat, and that would hinder Jolteon, but I don't know what quirky does. Is quirky even worse than having a minus special attack but plus speed nature? Quirky seems like, in the last question, Slowpoke, that was the one to catch you. Like, oh, obviously it has to be Slowpoke. No, it's Trap Inch. Slowpoke was the trick answer. I think Quirky is the trick answer. It's probably, uh, Quirky, I, I don't ever remember hearing people talk about Quirky nature. I think that's one of the neutral natures, where it doesn't uh, add or plus anything. It's got to be Jolly or Timid, but I can never remember. I think Jolly is minus special attack, isn't it? Okay, right. Quirky wasn't great either, but it wouldn't have hindered it in the way Jolly would. Okay, Jolly is minus special attack. Timid is minus physical attack. I can, I always get them confused. Last question. This one's a tough one. What happens to water moves when a Charizard Y holding Charizard enters the fray? Charizard Y holding Charizard enters the fray. They don't evaporate. Is this a trick question? It says a Charizard Y holding Charizard. 
Charizard holding a Charizard Ite Y does not mean anything for water type moves. It has to Mega Evolve and then it sets up Drought. I think this is a trick question. It should say, if it was weakened by five turns, it would say if a Charizard Y enters. I'm going to say nothing. Nicely done, it was a trick question. I said when it enters the battle, not when it Mega Evolves. I'm too good. Thanks for participating. Here's your quiz, or your thing, Dream Mist. I don't remember what that does. I think it has to do with Musharna. That Dream Mist is very rare. It only comes from Unova Musharna. It has some special properties, but you'll need to see a Dream Guru for that. Uh, what? Thanks again. That was a fun quiz. I enjoyed that. I heard a rumor about rare and legendary Pokemon migrating to Torin. I wonder why that is. What is it about the region that seems to bring them here? The fact that so many people have downloaded the game? Probably. I've been trying to fish in the ponds around town, but nothing so far. I guess I need to be more than an inch deep to find fish. In other news, water is wet. What a shock. Never would have guessed. We are definitely going to take this time to go through all the buildings and talk to all the people, by the way. Amphitrite City is my favorite place in the region. Everyone's so peaceful and friendly here. I feel like every city I go into says that their city is so peaceful and whatnot. Where is my reflection in the water? I'm upset. Oh, hi. Who is... This has got to be the gym leader of the area. Ah, Chaos. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Chaos. This is Kal Reith. He's the gym leader of Amphitrite. Isn't this also the guy who has Manaphy? Nice to meet you, Chaos. You've already met my girlfriend, Diana. She called ahead and told me to expect you. I've been looking all over for you two. I've heard all the stories. Kids who took down a cult. It's a bit embarrassing, really. We gym leaders should really be helping you out. I plan on it. Diana and I would love to join you two if you're willing. But I can help you out much better by introducing you to someone. When I was younger, I lived in the Aroma region. The what? My best friend and I were accomplished Pokemon trainers, and I guess someone took notice. We were both chosen by Pixie Pokemon. My friend was chosen by my boy Victini! That means he's probably the traitor. And I, Manaphy. He works for someone else now. I promised him I'd let him know if I found anyone else chosen by the Pixies. I'd appreciate it if you two could see him. He has an interest in you. Yeah, this is like, honestly, this is more sketchy than the sketchy salesman who sold me Power Up Punch. I don't trust this at all. There's a cave in the lake to the south. Oh yeah, just go into this random cave in the south that's in a lake and meet this guy who I told you has Victini. You can trust me. I run a gym. Just continue through. You can't miss it. I promise you you're on the same side. You have a common enemy, and he said he had something to give you. This is this is the most sketchiest of sketch. Come see me when you get back. If I get back, I run the gym here after all. You can have your challenge. You can get your badge, and we can discuss strategy. Sound good? Good. I never got to talk during that conversation. Well, that was a nice conversation he had with himself. Tell me about it. I'm curious, though. I'm going to head into the cave. I know I shouldn't trust him so easily, but if he really was chosen by Manaphy, he can't be that bad, right? Uh, Nora, I'd like to remind you back to the part where we, uh, read an ancient prophecy from a magical voodoo monster that, uh, happened to say that one of the peoples with a pixie would betray us? He absolutely can be that bad. Are you out of your mind? I hope. It'd be nice if you could join me, though. Hopefully I'm not walking into a trap. I mean, I'm gonna go anyways, because even if it is a trap, I'm unstoppable, and I'll just defeat everyone anyways. But you're absolutely being an idiot for doing this. Geez, we really can't trust anyone, can we? I honestly, I don't even trust you at this point. I'll see you in the cave. Oh yeah, baby. Meeting up in the cave. That piece of junk TV is barely ever on. It's always showing static. There's a constant war between the rain and the engineers who repair it. You'd think they'd just put a roof over it. Of course, the one time per month that it does work, everyone pays rapt attention. Usually when it's on, the messages are important, so we have to see them. What do you mean, TV? Is there a giant TV just sitting out somewhere that people watch? It's nice to sit and relax after a long day of work, you know? Man, I've been terrorizing kids all week. I'm beat. Oh, my goodness. You should definitely challenge Cal Reith while you're here. He might look like a pushover, but he's one tough challenge. I'll take him down. Everyone plays and catches Pokemon now that it's popular again. They're not real fans, just bandwagoners. Clearly, you need to know everything about a thing before you're allowed to be a fan of it. I really do appreciate the developer's small quips like that that he puts on some NPCs. Hey, listen, can you give me a hand? Be way more specific. One of my Pokemon, well, it escaped. It ran off into the wild of Route 14. That's far away. We just went through Route 15. It's like two routes back. It should be available just in the tall grass around there. It was a level 25 Hypno. It was really special to me. There's no other Hypno like that in the world. So I have to go to Route 14, find a wild level 25 Hypno, and catch it for her? If I remember to actually do that, we might do it. Don't count on it, though. I heard the champion of the Tauren is super is this super mysterious figure that only shows up once in a while. The thing is, hardly anyone's beaten the Elite Four, so nobody ever challenges them. I can't wait for someone to finally get there. Finally, we'll know who the champion is. On live TV. 
my boy Aegis Slash. Good Pokemon. Where is it Delta Aegis Slash? That's what we need. It's okay. You can date me if you want. I'm not a minor. Remember earlier when I said I'm glad that the developer puts these small quips into the game? I take it all back. Take every last bit of it back. I'm I'm mad. It's like Shroom. My friend Shroom, the pun master, just jumped in and made that joke. Hey, listen. You're a trainer. Hopefully this will help you out. Oh, right, well, thank you. Yeah, I know. Thank me later. I thanked you now, you nerd. So the cave and the gym are down to the south. Still got some more exploring to do. Tons of Capagrius. You know the old Hoenn champion? Steven, I think I heard his name was? I remember reading in some book that he passed away, but a few days ago I swear I saw someone just like him. Weird, huh? Dude, I would love to run into Steven. Living in Amphitrite City is really weird. It rains and it's wet everywhere, but nobody's bothered by it. Like, the property value is ridiculously low here. The floors have leaks and some roofs do too. It's a nightmare. I just don't get it. Are we in Britain? I've never actually been out of the United States. So, well, I've been in Canada. I've never been out of North America. But, uh, tell you what, if you give me 2500, I'll give you an egg. No, I never take that deal, ever. Unless you tell me what is in the egg. And even then, I probably don't take the deal. Uh, but I always hear my British friends complaining about it always being wet and raining and dreary and gray in the sky, etc., etc. TM35, flamethrower, really good TM right there. Also, uh, that must be the TV right there. Doesn't, uh... I think... We have flamethrower on... Or we have lava plume, I mean, on Loki instead of flamethrower. Flamethrower would be way better. Because it does more damage. Yeah! It's like a plus 15%... Or not 15%, a plus 15 point increase in base power. Really good. Now we just need to get, uh... Earthquake. That's what we're really missing out on now. What's this? Mount Rose. That must be where Infernal Cult is. I tried hiking on Mount Rose, but it was a nightmare traveling up there, and now they've got Border Patrol on No Ying. I don't know what that means. Alright, this is Mount Rose base. We're not gonna mess around with this just yet. I just wanted to see if I could walk in there or not. Uh, let's go down to the south and see if there are more people to talk to. I think I got time to go into that, whatchamacallit, what on earth is that statue? Say, youngster, I'll make you a deal. I've always been interested in the myth of the jinn. If you can show me the jinn, I'll pr I will provide you with its lamp. How does that sound to you? I don't know what, what Pokemon would be a jinn. Cafagrius? I honestly don't know. Is there a genie Pokemon? I can't remember. Yo, you down to trade? I've got a Pokemon I want to give away. I'll trade you my Noibat for any Dark-type. Dude, Noivern is sick, and I love it, but unfortunately, I've got too many dragons as is. I dyed my hair to match the theme of the city. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Good for you. It's a very nice shade of blue. My sister actually has blue hair, but that'll probably change in, like, too much. She changes the color all the time. Used to be, uh, blonde, and then it was, like, before that, it was, like, her natural brunette with, like, a little bit of, a uh, red thrown in. I went traveling in that cave to the south, but there wasn't much interesting there. Sure, there were a few pretty crystals, but the cave kind of just ends. There's nothing interesting down there. It's a shame it's such a pretty place. I don't believe you. You're a filthy liar. Why is there, like, no one in this Pokemon Center? There's something wrong with this city. Something is wrong. I don't like it. I've been growing berries in these bushes for some time. There's really not much, but what I have is to share. Please help yourself. Wait, can I just... Oh, sick. May as well. Free stuff, right? Got the berry that does sleeping, which is Chesto. Rost is for fire, or burning, I mean. And then Orin is 10 HP. I have lots of youthful energy. Be thankful that I do not challenge you. Your team would be but mincemeat to me. Just like the way when I train. Is that Guy Sensei I just talked to? A modern age Guy Sensei? There are a lot of urban myths about the cave and the lake to the south. People say they can see the spirits of incredible trainers. Of course, that's a load of baloney. They probably just saw people who look like them. Oh, dude, are we going to run into spirits of old champions and fight them? I would love that. After we got engaged, my hubby and I moved out here. Wait a minute. You got engaged. Oh, no, you're... Okay, I understand. At first, I, was, I thought she meant they were currently engaged, in which case that would not be her hubby. It would be her fiancé, but she meant when they first got engaged and now they're married. I understand. A lot of people don't, but I really love it here in Amphitrite. It's such an atmospheric place. Especially with the uh, damn floor. All the time. It leaks. I lied, I loathe it here. I don't blame you, that sounds awful. I hate being wet. 
It's just bad, man. What is... What... 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 What is this? It's horrifying. Uh, this is the gym here. Can't do anything with it yet, I'm pretty sure. Calreath is the leader. Over 16,000 trainers. Uh, one attempt. Yep, we're at the economy point of people are playing the game on easy slash normal. I, I hate this. This is not okay. Would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Delta Shuckle for a Bulbasaur. A Delta Shuckle? Where am I going to get a Bulbasaur from? That is a freaking Master Ball. Screw you, game developer. In your teasing ways. I saw somebody in this town selling an egg. I wonder why there are so many shady egg dealers in this region. I've seen one in almost every town with a gym. That's really weird. Scyther. Scyther. Last night I was at a charity ball and I got to meet Yuki. I don't know who that is. You know from the Elite Four. Didn't know that. She's beautiful. I'm honestly a bit jealous. How can someone be so amazing and talented? I don't know, man. Woman, whatever. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Admin Giovanni the Wise? Yes. Never mind it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm gonna say no. And he's... I'm not surprised. It's not something the gym leaders would tell you. I thought not. It's not a story the gym leaders would tell you. Oh, I love this. It's a Team Rocket legend. Giovanni was a leader of Team Rocket, so powerful and wise. He could use science to influence DNA and create life. Okay, but actually, have you ever heard of Team Rocket or Giovanni? You really should read a book. That kind of ignorance isn't healthy. Oh, that's, that's good. You know, every now and then, game developer, your quips redeem themselves. Let me give you a tip in competitive battling. If you lose, always blame the RNG. It'll make you look good in the eyes of your opponent and less of a baby, I promise. Absolutely. That's how all of the good professionals do it. It's all about the RNG, man. It's literally just a burn heal over here. It's really not worth it, so I'm gonna hyperspeed. Thank you. There we go. Alright, I think we're at the point where, yeah, we're at the lake and the cave and whatnot. So there's really, uh, no more talking to people. But we're just under half an hour. I didn't mean to talk to you. I also love being with you, Mayor. I think we're gonna wrap up here for today, and then when we come back next time, we'll go talk to the guy at the cave and possibly, like, get annihilated because it sounds like a trap. But, uh, we'll do that, and then we'll go about taking on the gym leader afterwards, depending on how long it takes, what happens, and all that. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, I'll be able to get back to Insurgents. Probably not every day. I highly doubt that. But, like, every other day is what I'm gonna try a name for, so... Sorry you guys had to go so long without, but I'll get back onto it as much as I can. Because I think we're fairly close to the end of the game, and I would really like to have this done before Ultra Sun comes out. But uh, enough of me rambling. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. And until then, farewell.